Sam, here we are in Cadogan's new exhibition space in Hampshire. How does it feel to see the installation up? It's like uh, watching the work come to life. Um, uh, in the studio, um, I couldn't see this in its entirety, so it was made with a lot of imagining. Um, but it was only by uh, hanging them that we started to create uh, and change the, the rhythm or the pace of the work. And what about the title? Why Tempo? Uh, two reasons. Um, I think initially it was about within the paintings um, and the marks and the gestures and the movement that was in the painting. And then um, as it was a, a 33 paintings, it became very much about me moving across the body of work and that there were rhythms and currents that emerged as I was making them. What I'm really pleased with is the sort of travelling without destination that comes from the work. I like its pace. It's like a sort of meander. This is the first time you've worked on this sort of scale. What do you think it does to the work? Uh, I think it's changed everything. Um, it's, it's stopped the work um, being self-referential or introspective. It's made me think of everything in a, in a much more outward looking way. It's not the parameters of the painting that are, that are important. It's the relationship between the paintings or between the marks in the paintings. I created a battleground really. And so I was working with materials that resisted or fought each other and also sort of using uh, equipment like blow torches and heat guns um, that blister and crack the surface. That sort of uh, dynamism or the sort of physicality of, of the process is where the energy of the work comes from. So those, those gestures are sort of tracks and traces of moments and actions that I've made. Um, and they've, they, they're sort of moments becoming history. You've created a site-specific body of work. How has that changed the way you think about your practice? Uh, the presence for this, of this setting was, was always in my thinking. This piece of work was, was made specifically to be seen in this, in this context. Um, to get to the gallery space, you travel through rural Hampshire, which um, is full of weather and space and seasons and time passing. And all of those things are more evident in the, in the setting uh, and in the context. The sort of energy and the mark and the colour and the palette, um, it was about making a painting, but it was about making a painting uh, that would have a conversation with those ideas outside of itself. And how has your painting style evolved since we first started working together? Um, I think that's always been a very natural process for me. Um, I, but I think when I look back over several years, I think you can see sort of quite marked changes. And I think my own presence in the paintings is, is, is much more obvious now, in the gestures or in the marks. It's developed into a set of sort of a vocabulary of abstract signs, and that's a language. And that language seems to come from within myself. There's a sort of spirituality in the work, and I think that's because it comes from a sort of personal space. You know, this is what makes me unique. The marks I make, the decisions I make, the thoughts I have, those are my own, that's my own language and that's my own life experience. And how does the installation here relate to the gallery show in London? I think the context is really different, um, but I think the, the premise for the work is, is, is very much connected. The passage of time, presence of absence, you know, those are things that, that, that unite the work. The motif of the circle dominates in the gallery. And I think that's a suggestion that there's a, a journey without an end and traveling without destination. And those are both themes that exist across the 33 paintings within these paintings, but also within the work at the gallery.